Hi, hello. So um, this uh, this part, my idea for this part is to explain to you um, some some important uh, stuff before uh, starting the thing. Um, so requirements, requirements. Um, this is a, a beginner course, yes, but. Um, I expect you to have at least the basic knowledge about Python, okay? How it works, okay? Um, is expected for you to have Python uh, greater or equals to 3.8 version, okay? Um, Visual Studio Code, this is recommended, and because it is recommended, is optional, okay? but I strongly recommend you to use Visual Studio Code to edit um, the code and also for us to to um, you see um, the thing is uh, here my idea here is for you and me learn about these things okay yes because I, I don't know everything and uh, I will use a lot of uh, Visual Studio Code um, features to explore and uh, show you um, a lot of stuff, okay? Okay, uh, next thing, virtual environment. Again, is recommended, okay? You don't need to, to use a virtual environment. I will create a virtual environment. And by the way, let me create right now <laughs> right now so how to do that how to create a virtual environment here in visual studio code i just opened uh, a terminal you can go here terminal new terminal i know the keys the hot keys so i did uh, from the keyboard to open the, the terminal and uh, our goal right now is to create the environment the virtual environment so python minus m because we want to run a module and the module is called venv for virtual environment next we provide a name for the for the virtual environment that we want to create i will call le for learn uh, learning environment for example um, it enter of course and it will start do doing the magic we see here it already created here a folder and let's wait a little bit more because i believe it's almost there uh, again this is not mandatory i prefer in this case i prefer to use uh, a virtual environment because uh, the idea of this course is not to be attached to uh, a library, a module, a specific library or module, we will use several uh, libraries or modules to uh, accomplish our goals, okay? So uh, that's why I want to have a virtual environment for these. Next, for you to activate uh, the environment, you just need to go to the folder LE and then inside of that folder there is another folder that is the script this one and then it will be one of these the activate since this is uh, i don't know if you can see uh, if this is too too small but in uh, visual studio code the terminal is actually a powershell terminal okay and because it is a powershell terminal it's not to activate is not to activate dot bat is to activate with uppercase a uh, dot ps1 okay it enter and now is um, active okay when you see something like this uh, here green green is good okay so we are in this um, virtual environment if i do pip list we will see uh, almost nothing okay we see that we have pip installed and the setup tools okay is just this so the first uh, first part is done 
Uh, next, in the final final part, how this will work? Well, like I said to you, uh, the idea is for you and me learn because I will learn too because I don't know everything. And uh, my suggestion, and uh, for this session, uh, uh, each session will have a set of questions, and we will try to answer those questions okay so for this session let me copy and let me paste the questions and the questions will be just these 12 questions okay how to the first one is get the number of pages of a PDF document uh, the second one will be get the document info the metadata of that document uh, for example the author um, let me see the the title the the producer uh, some stuff that we can get from that that thing oh and also the um, I, I almost forget the table of contents okay the table of contents next uh, we want to learn how to get the text from pages okay how to get the images from the pages and also the links the URLs this one is a little bit different from this one this one is getting the images inside of a document this one is making uh, for each page we want to create uh, an image of that um, that page like a, a screenshot okay then uh, we will scale the pages we will rotate learn how to rotate the pages split the pages merge the pages crop the pages and finally uh, add a watermark okay to the pages okay and that's it uh, what I want to say more in this part in this video uh, I think nothing else uh, and that's it we will hope you like this okay uh, in the next uh, next sessions uh, of course the, the questions will be different and they will increase uh, in the, the how much hard it is to do it will increase that part for this um, for this session uh, and for these questions uh, like I said before we will not be attached to a library a specific library but um, we can use several uh, libraries in the process but uh, for this session to be simple we will just use the the library called pi m u pdf okay this one we will learn how to install these in the next video okay see you there